How's it going everybody? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at our next Ike V2 deployment opera, um, feature, which is gonna be Ike V2 on iOS and Ike V2 on ASA. And this one's actually gonna be uh, pretty straightforward like it was in the previous videos. And we're gonna go through the details and how to get it up and running and things like that. It's not terribly difficult. We're gonna continue on CSR2 and get him squared away so we can see what it looks like with multiple peers on that guy and we'll get ASA1 up and running as well. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the config and take a look exactly how this works. So on CSR2, we're going to continue the process, except for this time I'm gonna just, um, I'm gonna go to global config and it's going to be the access list again. So we're gonna say IP access list extended and it's gonna be IKEV2, IKEV2, uh, CSR2 underscore ASA1 underscore ACL and we're going to permit IP of 172.16.1.0 to in this case here it's going to be 10.8.11.0.0.0.255 we're only going to do that first one out of the gate for the moment uh, just to simplify the config a little bit I'm going to create a crypto IV2 key ring and I'm going to call the keyring ikv2 um, csr2 underscore asa1 underscore keyring. And we're going to say the peer is going to be asa1. The pre shared key local is going to be csr2. The pre shared key remote will be uh, asa1. And we want to make sure that we're matching on the address. So address is going to be. In this case here, I believe ASA1 it is, where is ASA1? Uh, show interface IP brief, 11.0.0.11. So 11.0.0.11 slash 32. You might have a question. Maybe you don't, I'm gonna pose one. When are you gonna stop using such specific wildcards? I will be using, I'll go to be using so generic wildcards when we convert over to a kind of a multi-point design like DMVPN and FlexVPN. That's when. So we're going to get out of here and I'm going to go ahead and create the crypto IP2 profile. The profile is going to be IP2 underscore CSR2 underscore ASA1 profile. And I'm going to specify that the match address local is going to be 51.0.0.5. The match identity remote address will be 11.0.0.11 slash 32. The authentication local will be a pre-share key. The authentication remote will be a pre-share key. And then we're going to call the key ring local and the key ring name is going to be uh, this guy, like that. Next thing we're gonna do is a crypto map, uh, C map, uh, this is gonna be entry 30, IPsec isocamp, and we're gonna say match address, and scroll all the way to the top, grab that. We're gonna set peer to be 11.0.0.11. .11. We're gonna match the, or set the IP2 profile to be this profile. And there we have it. So that's pretty much it for that syntax. Um, ASA is not a ton different, but different enough to where it doesn't pay for us to copy and paste. So we're gonna go to ASA. I'm gonna come in here and type in the access list that we're gonna be using. The name of it's gonna be IP2 uh, ASA1 to CSR2. Uh, ACL extended. We're going to permit the 10.8.11.0 slash 24 to the permit IP, I should say. Before it squawks at me and I feel like an, an idiot. Um, we're going to do 172.16.1.0 slash 24. Just like that. We're going to define the tunnel group. So the tunnel group is going to be basically kind of like the profile in a way. Kind of, sort of. Um, we're going to specify the tunnel group is going to be 51.0.0. Sorry, 21. 21.0.0.2 with the type of IPsec L2L. And then I'm going to type in the IPsec attributes. 
we're going to specify underneath here this ip2 so ip2 and the local pre-share key will be uh, asa asa1 and the ike uh, v2 remote authentication pre-share key will be csr2 we're going to go ahead and get out of that and then the next step for us to do will be to define the policy. So the crypto like V2 policy, we'll give it a number, 10 will work. And then we're gonna type in the encryption. In this case here, we'll be using a couple different variables. I will start off with 256, start off with the big, big boys first, but not the GCM, because we haven't talked about GCM yet. We'll do AES192, then we'll do AES and that should be good enough. I mean, we could throw a triple dozen there as well if we wanted to, but we're not going to. We'll type in integrity. We'll be, we'll start out with the big dogs first, SHA-256, and then SHA. We will then look at the group of five and two, and last but certainly not least, the pseudo random function of SHA. Notice how it's 256 and SHA. We're gonna exit out of that. And then we're gonna go to the crypto IP to IPsec, sorry, crypto IPsec, IP2, IPsec proposal, then the proposal name will be IP2 underscore AES underscore SHA. And then underneath here, we specify the protocol. The protocol will be ESP, Right, protocol ESP and we'll specify the encryption is going to be uh, we'll specify AES 256 AES 192 uh, AES and then we'll hit the up arrow bring this back and then we'll type in the integrity integrity will be SHA 256 and SHA 1 and that is the IPsec configuration then we will call that from the crypto map. So the next thing is the crypto map, like the two C map. We're gonna give it a sequence number of 10, and then we're gonna specify a uh, match the address, and the address we need to mention is way on back up here. Uh, this guy right there, the ACL. I'm gonna come in here and set the peer to be 21.0.0.2. I'm gonna set the Ike v2 IPsec proposal to be Ike v2 underscore AES underscore Shaw. And then last but certainly not least, we're going to enable this on the interface of outside. And then last but certainly not least, crypto Ike v2 enable outside. So then we've done all that. Let's go ahead and just review real quickly what we've accomplished. So we're gonna do show run IPv2, show run crypto IPv2. Uh, there's our policy, not much to talk about because there's uh, the extent of the compatibility here in ASA is not incredibly involved. We do a show run tunnel group we're gonna have multiple tunnel groups. The one we care about is this one right here. The other ones are all for uh, any connect. So we have that guy going for us. And we're gonna do a show run crypto map. There's our crypto map config. So we should be able to go to the next portion of things and do a ping test. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm going to do a ping to 11.0.0.11. Go back to ASA1, show route. And I need to go up to here and uh, we're gonna do a route outside 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0 and we're gonna type in 11.0.0.1. Uh, I really don't need So show run route. I will go ahead and pull this route out. There we go. 
So I don't need to have the, these additional routes in here. Those are just for some other testing that I was doing. And we're going to go ahead and show route again. Or show route, sorry. There we have that. So let's go back to two and try to ping. There we go, the ping works. So now I'm going to ping. Um, I should be able to ping through. Let me go to CSR8 real quick. Show IP interface brief. Um, so here's the thing. You can't, on an ASA, you can't ping an interface on an ASA when you're pinging via VPN. So if I wanted to ping from CSR2 to ASA, I can't ping the inside interface. So I could try doing this from the ASA side. Let's do this. Let's ping, uh, ping, and then we can say, like, inside to 172.16.1.2 and see if that'll work. Okay, let's check. Let me just double check my configurator. Show run uh, section Ike V2. And just make sure I haven't overlooked anything. CSR2 ASA, that all looks right. Ah, well, that's not going to help. Let's fix this. We'll do 21.0.0.2. Do show run section Ike V2. And we'll just remove this line right here. We can try that ping one more time. I don't think it's going to work that way. So that's why in this case here, I would do this. Go to global config. Uh, do show, or sorry, show run router. I am running EIGRP, so I should be able to CSR8 show IP route BRF S11. Let's do this router EIGRP VPN address family IP4 VRF. IPv4 VRF S11, um, autonomous system one, network of 10.8.11.0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0.255. There we go. So we formed an adjacency with six and with ASA one. So show IP route, or uh, VRF S11. We are getting that prefix to come across, which is good. So now we should be able to, and we're getting the redistribute static, which is good. So now if I go back to CSR2 and I try to ping 10.8.11.8 sourcing from gig two, there it goes. So it works. If I do a show crypto Ike uh, V2 SA, I have an active connection to ASA uh, 1, which is what I want. So we've already validated on a on CSR. So let's take a look at validating on ASA. Let's do a show crypto IV2 and then the SA. We have an active SA, pre-shared key. We are the responder. We, and we can see what we're, what's being encrypted and all that good stuff. Show crypto IPsec uh, SA and look at the details of that. One thing I like about doing this is we can still do the pipe. So pipe include PKTS, uh, peer, and ident. So we still get all those same, uh, all that stuff is working the way that we need it to. And that's exactly what we want to have. So we do have it all working on both iOS and ASA, which is what we want to have. So at this point in time, we have completed all of our crypto map based VPN stuff that we can play with. I mean, I'll be uh, short of doing firepower um, from, an a, from a VPN perspective, uh, but I'll be taking a look at VPN on firepower inside of firepower, which will be coming up soon. So um, once I pass this exam, I'll be free and clear of it. Um, with that being said though, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, that, that's pretty much it. There's really not much more to it than that. Uh, we do have the connectivity, uh, connectivity, which is what we needed. And uh, we're good to go. Uh, until next time, guys, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.